Hey, what's up? I'm Ben. And I'm Tom. We're the co-owners of Honesto Mike and Fernando Joe here in beautiful Santiago de Chile. On a cold day. Today we're going to be making salt baked whole salmon in the Kevri H1 with beer, because that's what we do. Yeah. Let's go. All right, so we've got an eight and a half pound whole salmon with descaled, it's clean. You can ask your fish market or your fishmonger to leave this whole thing ready to go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chop off some of the tail and we're gonna leave the head on. Okay guys, once we remove the fins, all the part that could burn, simple ingredients that we're gonna put inside his belly. Eight or 10 rounds of lemon, some garlic, whole. That's it. Looks good. You want to try to avoid uh, some of the seeds, so you don't want to get that bitterness yeah. into the fish. It's, it's easy like this. We, we put the garlic inside. So yeah, some lemons, rough chops of garlic, of course some salt. I know we're using a ton of salt for this recipe, but fresh ground pepper. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create our bed that's going to be made out of sea salt, a little bit of fine salt, and a bunch of beer. Today we're using of citrus forward West Coast style IPA, putting some beer in, and we want to try to get a consistency of wet sand. That's kind of what we're after. Cool, so this is the consistency we're, that we're after. We want that sort of wet sand. One important thing, we're using a lot of salt. This is about 22 pounds of sea salt. You can use kosher salt, but you also want to mix in a little bit of fine salt in there as well. Yeah, to get, it, to get the dough right, I know. Right, we want to make sort of a we're gonna, wrap. we're gonna do like a double oven. We're gonna first oven it with the salt and then with the Kevri H1. So it's like a double yeah. double oven. It's okay. amazing. Sealing all that flavor. What we wanna do is form like a basic layer of a quarter of a quarter of an inch right? yep. of the preparation salt. The fish won't uh, absorb all the salt, of course. That's why we're using uh, like citric beers. Uh, the citric of the beer, the lemon inside the fish and the garlic will be perfect from two hours from now. It's very important the, that the fish uh, has a skin for it. And now we cover it with the rest of the salt. Yep, we're gonna make a little house for, the fish. for this guy. And it's gonna bake inside, locking in all those flavors inside the fish. Yeah. Yeah. We know that this is a really big piece of fish, but what we wanna do is we're gonna leave the head on yeah. and we're gonna leave it out of the, the pan what? so that when we cook it, we can see what's going on yeah, on one, the inside. One, one of the ways to know if you fish is done, it's later to look at the size. If they're white, it's done. All right, we're gonna go check the H1. We wanna try to get a little bit above 400 degrees Fahrenheit. When we put the fish in the oven, that's gonna drop a little bit, and we wanna try to maintain 400 degrees consistently for the next two hours. It's the best part of the dish. What? Hitting stuff. Yeah. Usually it's pretty fun. You have to heat, heat it yeah. hard. Exactly. You'll see. See you in a couple hours. Bye. Okay, so we're gonna put this beautiful boy inside the oven for two hours. Try to not open the door in the process. Um, okay, let's put it there two hours. Okay, now that the fish is in the oven, we can talk with Ben and his favorite part. You got some time. We're gonna drink we a couple to. beers. Today we're drinking Ballast Point Sculpin, West Coast style IPA. The fish also. Fish also, yep. Enjoy yourselves. We'll see you in a couple hours. Fish is ready, Ben. All right, so we've been here two hours. We've had a couple beers. 400 degrees Fahrenheit in classic mode in the H1. Let's get the thing out of the oven. Woo-wee, look at this thing. Our salmon sleeping bag. How about the smell? Then? Ready to go, it smells amazing. Now we're gonna crack this thing open and dive in. And you can see it's still cooking on the inside. It's bubbling away. All those juices are locked in into the meat. It's gonna be delicious. Nice. Start to finish, this took three hours to do. You can use any kind of fish, get yourself a nice, fresh piece of fish. It can be salmon, trout, swordfish, whatever you like. Make your salt sleeping bag, throw it in the H1 for a couple of hours, you're good to go. You can find more recipes like this down below and check us out in all of our social media links right down here. All right, we'll see you for the next one, bud. Cheers, man. Cheers. Good.